Good morning, good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord. Good morning, greetings everyone. Greetings everyone in Jesus' name.
We call upon the name that's above every name. We call upon the name of the Lord, which is our strong tower, and the righteous run to it and they are safe. Father, we thank you. We receive your grace this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we call on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we bless your name, O oh God. Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name, O oh God. We bless your name, O oh God. We bless your name, O oh God. We bless your Shaya Nababa. Sekeya Nabraha. Mandelelelebo Shaya Talabadelelebo Shaya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we receive your grace. We receive. Shandelelelebo Shaya. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. All the glory belongs to you, Father. Shandidida da bayada wa sukaya bada ba. Zekatala mandala ba musaya. Lomanaya da ba masanta ya la bro musaya. Eka maliga chesu, eka maliga bayo, eka maliga peswa makama, eka maliga posu chesu, eka maliga manja. We give you praise tonight. We give you praise this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah is the highest praise. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Shakatayalabaha. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the Masa Tayalabaha. In the Baba Basaya Tilibri Kundu Mosaya. Or a Baba Basaya that was Shande Koya Labrahan de Kiril Mosaya. Yante Koya Basa Tayalabrahan de Koya Labrahan de Kosaya. Yande Lilililil Mosaya. He commanded Yalabasaya. Ya Baba Bashi Kande Lilabosaya. Sekatuyo Mosata. Our confidence is in you. Our confidence is in you. Our confidence is in Oshante Yalaba. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
my God, my God, my God. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you. All the glory belongs to 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 you. The glory belongs to you. Lord Jesus, Lord God, we receive your praise. We are coming to Lord, we give you the praise. Lord, we love you. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome in this place, Holy Spirit. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome in this place. Oh Shaya Nanana Mahande Basaya. All the glory belongs to you. All the praise it belongs to you. Oh Lamande Kia Dabaha Sekede de Bosaya. Oh ya dada da bande kono bosaya da babaha. Se baba she kande kele bosaya da bara haliko. We praise your name this morning. In a man as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, we lift up your name this morning in the name of Jesus. All the glory belongs to you. All the adoration, it belongs to you. Shandela Basai, it belongs to you. King of kings, Lord of lords, it belongs to you this morning in the name of Jesus. Yante Koda Manda Yada Dababas, Kante Libro Saya Labaha, Yande Keda Dabas, Ketila Manda Yada Basai. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. On a Monday, he had a double. Say a double, and the Santa. He had the dinner of our Santa Liba by another double secretary. Lord, we worship you this morning.
there's things that as, as we are entering in, into this I hear Bogoti, there are things that we need to announce there are things that we need to announce and as you, as you are praying you know the things that the Lord has been telling you to demolish in your life we need to demolish certain things we cannot show up in the altar of God with the things that belong to other altars there are covenants that we need to announce I know many of us come Every agreement, every contract that I may have entered to knowingly and unknowingly in the mighty name of Jesus. That you show us, O Father, that which we need to live behind. We break every chain, every covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. We do not want to be in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wash us afresh and cleanse us afresh, Almighty Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. That we may be acceptable to you, O Father, in the living sacrifice in your altar. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are dethroning ourselves, O Father. In the 
Every covenant, every every covenant, Father, that we may have entered to knowing and unknowingly, we disconnect, we separate ourselves in the mighty Kasutala by the Pushanti, in the Malabashi, Daya da Kosima, Daya da Basukata, Sema Hande, Yakasutala Bahade Yadaba, Seba Bashi Talamon, Gekama Elina Manja Diga Jesu, Gekama Diga Jesu, we call upon the name of the Lord, Shandel the blood of Jesus, we fix better things in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus, 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 in the mighty
and yet there is a garment that we have to take off before we can cross over. You cannot cross over with the garment. Open up your mouth and speak. You you know, you know what, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. We're not going to jump here and, and, and say, Father, close this door. Father, Father, do this and do it. No. Here you have to first do it by yourself. You have to first close these doors by yourself. There's the door of self. You know you are self-dependent. You know the Lord is unable to speak to you and, and, and give you an instruction and to do it. You know. But there are other things here. How did the spirit husband come in? It is the door of fornication or of lust that was open. That needs to be closed. Whether it was open when you were 15 or it is a door that is still open now. How are you going to be delivered from these other things that you have opened. It is because the Lord has been telling you to stop drinking alcohol and you don't do it. And we're coming here, we say, we want these things to, ah, 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 ah. The Lord knows our hearts. Thank so you, we, Lord. We, we, we just first take this thing off. Just first take this thing off. The grace of God is sufficient for us as a Lord to be able to, to get ourselves, to get these things off of us. Take off this garment. Take off this garment. Take off this garment mm. of, of, of the you, old being. Take you, off Lord. this garment of the old being. Leave this garment of the old being behind. I'm leaving the garment of the old being behind. I don't want to, mm. to, to you, be Lord. self-dependent anymore. I want to depend on the spirit of the Lord. I want to leave this garment. I want to leave this garment. I want to leave this commitment and cross over Hila Pashia so that the Lord may be able to walk with me, so that I may be able to continue to walk with the Lord. I can't bring these things with me. I can't bring these things. I can't. I can't bring these things with me. I cannot bring these things with me. I can't. You cannot bring these things with you. You cannot bring these things with you. You know the things that the Lord has been saying. Cut. Cut. Now God wants you to make a new covenant with him and just agree that Lord, I am leaving this Because we will pray here for the whole week. The spirit has been in the spirit wife and, and, and your finances and everything. Everything will be done. But you will go back. But you will go back. We are here to make a new covenant with the Lord. We are making Thank you, Lord. New covenant with the Lord. We have to make a new covenant with the Lord. No more self-dependence. No more disobedience. No more self-dependence. No more disobedience. Grace, grace, grace is sufficient for all of us. Thank you, Lord. We receive your grace. Grace, grace. It is sufficient for yes, you. Yes, Lord. It is sufficient for you. It is sufficient for you. It is sufficient for you. Some of us may be things that we don't even know about, but just disconnect yourself from anything that speaks we'll against receive, you. We'll receive the grace. Disconnect yourself from anything and everything that speaks against you, so that we come to the Lord with a pure heart, with him. Everything, everything, everything. Lord, disconnect us. Disconnect us. These children, we are cutting ourselves from the generational things that we don't even know. About. We were dedicated to altars that we don't even know. In Jesus' name, about. in Jesus' name, we, we, we are just bringing ourselves. We separate ourselves. We are this separating in Jesus ourselves. We are separating ourselves, even from the acts of the flesh. We want to separate ourselves from God Almighty tonight. We are handing ourselves over to you. In Jesus' name. For some of us, Azalan, that's what God wants from you. For you to hand yourself over by yourself. And say, Father, I am handing myself over to you. God knows that certain things you are unable to stop them by yourself. But you have to hand yourself over. You have to agree. You have to agree. With your own mouth, you have to confess. You have to confess the hand. Oh, I am handing myself over to you. I am handing myself Thank you, over. Jesus. Lord, I am handing myself over to you. For you to have your way with me. For you to have your way with my life. I will no longer depend on these things that I have made for myself. I will no longer depend on them. I will no longer depend on them. Guys, gone are the days when we will show up in the altar of Jehovah with our things, with the consultations with the Sangomas, because we do that. When the going gets tough, we go and we, and we consult. I'm not saying the 
this because I'm confronting you. I am saying this because you must leave these things behind. I am here to help you to point these things out so that you leave them behind. When the going gets tough, when, when the going got tough, you went and you consulted. You have to leave. You have to disconnect yourself from this. You said you belong to the Lord and yet you went and you did this other thing. Then also, also, there are people here. The Lord has been speaking to you. The Lord has been speaking to you. So we are going to start. By the time we leave here, we will be fresh. We will be new. We will be new creatures. We will be new creation. With a new garment. With a new name. With a new name. In a new covenant. Some of you, it is forgiveness that keeps you from moving forward. So there are people that you actually need to just say, Lord, I forgive. I forgive them and I am letting them go. I am forgiving them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's the grudges that you are holding in your heart. It's the bitterness that you are holding in your heart. And I know some of you, it's pain that keeps you holding on to these things. So just hali pashuya hasiya. Take off, take off your old garment. Even in even in heaviness, even in bitterness, I know it may not be easy for you. But you have she kasu ilamate lebesa. Father, we take off the old garment in Jesus' name. Mm, dress us a new, oh God. Dress us a new garment. We receive your grace, oh God. Dress us a new, oh God, in the name of Jesus. The people Christ that you are Jesus. carrying in your heart, that are heavy in your heart, and people that you are holding in your heart. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. Take it off in Jesus' name. Cut, 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 cut. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Listen, just listen. We, we need some of us spiritually addressed in this garment that makes us to be identifiable in the realm of the spirit. We are identified with this garment that we are dressed with. A garment of guilt, a garment of shame. It's a garment that is stained. It's a bloody garment. Some of the some of us are wearing garments spiritually that are, are torn. And the Holy Spirit, God wants to give us a new garment. So you need to take off that garment of shame. You need to take off that garment of sorrow. You need to take off that garment of guilt. In the name of Jesus, Father, we receive your grace this morning. We are people of grace. We are people of power. You, you, you find that you have not been fully active and effective um, prayer-wise because you are dressed with this garment that is torn and that is stained. So it's time to take off and remove this garment in the name of Jesus. Lebada Santayanabaha. Mm. 
a garment of regret. The devil, the devil keeps reminding you of your old life, but you no longer belong to that life. So you are dressed in that garment of being reminded of the old things. But the Lord wants you because in the realm of the spirit, you are you are you 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 are recognized with your garment. But God wants to give you the garment of grace. Come on, take it off. That garment, you know what I'm talking about. That garment that you've been dragging, that garment that weighs on you. Yeah, you need to surrender. You need to take off that garment. Just take it off and, and allow the Lord to dress you anew in the name of Jesus. You know what garment you are wearing. You know what garment you've been wearing. So it's time to to take it off because God wants to dress you anew in the mighty name of Jesus. We are people of grace. The grace of God qualifies us. The grace of God, we've been chosen by God, but the grace of God, listen to me, you cannot you cannot dress the new garment on top of the old garment. You need to take off and remove the old garment. The garment of accusation. The Lord wants to all of us again Tanabaha. But God wants to give you a clean garment. Take off that garment of guilt in the mighty. There is now no Romans 8, verse 1. There is now no condemnation to those that are in Christ. Some of you, you've been praying, but you've not been seeing results in your prayer. It's because of that garment. Take off that garment. Disconnect. Take off. Remove that garment in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove, take off of take off that old garment. God wants to dress you anew with a new garment of grace, new garment of power, new garment of authority. In the name of Jesus. Remove that old garment in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove that old garment in the name of Jesus. It's causing you to be inactive. It's causing you, not your prayers, you seem to be praying. You are a very powerful prayer, pray, praying person, but you've been wearing the old, the wrong garment. In the name of Jesus. Rabahase and Talabaha. God wants to dress us anew. The garment of grace. We receive the garment of grace. We take off the garment of shame. The grace. The garment of grace in the mighty name of Jesus. The garment of power in the mighty name. There is now no condemnation to those that are in Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's time for God to use you. It's time for God to demonstrate his power. It's time for God to demonstrate his glory. But it's time for you to be dressed anew. Dressed by God. Dressed in a new garment of grace. New garment of unity in our families in Jesus' name. Yes, remove the old garment of separation. New garment, the new garment of grace, the new garment of power. Listen, there is a lot that the devil has stolen in your family. There is a lot that the devil has stolen in your life, in your career. There is a lot that the devil has stolen. But God wants to dress you anew so that you, are, you cannot be identified by the kingdom of darkness. There is now no condemnation. There is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ. Hmm. Maybe you are here. Maybe you are here. You feel in your spirit that God is calling you back to him. And you, you want to be reconciled with God. 
some of you you may say you want this new comment and some of you may wonder what how wh where do i get this new comment there is now no condemnation the book of romans chapter 8 verses 1 it says there is now no condemnation to those who are in christ if you do not belong to christ i want you to belong to christ if you want us to pray for you and you want to be reunited and reconciled with christ maybe you were a child of god and you backslidden we want to pray with you so that you are dressed and you. As we are continuing to pray, if you say you want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, if you say, Lord, restore me, Lord, renew me, you are saying, Ndelantanda Zenami Namshanjen, I want this new garment. Ngifuna Nami Ugwembatisunguboyamanja. I want to be dressed in the new garment of power, the garment of grace. Listen to me. We receive receive the grace of God, the gift of God, the unmerited favor of God. If you are saying pray with me, uh, we are here to pray for you. We are not going to close you, we are not going to lock you outside. If you are saying you want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. You may have stumbled upon this live on TikTok or on Facebook. You may have stumbled on this live and you are saying you want you want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. We want to pray with you quickly. Quickly, just 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 write on the comment section, I want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. We want to pray with you quickly. We are, we are moving on. If you say you want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, just write on the comment section, I want to be re, I want to be reunited with the Lord. I want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. I want to be dressed in the new garment of grace. Yeah, we are going to pray with you quickly, quickly. We don't have much time. We want to pray with you. Rabadede Kosaya. Mm, the new comment God wants to dress us anew God wants God wants to change your name yeah God bless you I see you I see you I see you all I see you God bless you God bless you God will dress you anew in a new garment of power in a new some of you will wake up in the morning with a new a new praise you'll just your spirit will just be in the praise mode yeah just keep writing I want to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior I see you Debs on Facebook God bless you we want to pray with you we want your name to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It would be a mistake for us to end this session without getting you get this side of the, get, getting getting you a new identity, a new garment of power, a new garment. God wants to dress you anew. Yeah, you have taken off the garment of praise. Of You, you have taken out the garment of shame, but God is giving you a garment of grace. Yeah, I want to renew. Yes, yeah, we want, we want to pray with you. God bless you. God knows your name. You just write, I want to receive Jesus as my my Lord and Savior. Yeah, I want to be reunited with the Lord. We are going to pray with you. La Badosha Diana Dada Bosaya. Yeah, we want to pray with you. Yeah, whom the sun sets free is free indeed. God wants to dress you anew in a garment of grace. Lord, we receive your grace this morning. Lord, we receive your grace. Vuyo, I see you. Frida, 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 I see you. I need you to say these words after me. Lord Jesus, just say these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I remove the old garment of shame. I remove the old garment of sin in the name of Jesus. I, I receive your grace this morning in the name of Jesus. I receive the new garment of grace. I receive the new garment of power. I receive the new name in the name of Jesus. Lord, cleanse me with your blood. Cleanse me with your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, write my name in the Lamb's book of life. In the name of Jesus, I repent of my sins. I repent of my old ways. I come before you this morning. Thank you for receiving me. In Jesus' name. Father, I, I thank you for their names that are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You know them by name. You know them, their location. In the mighty name of Jesus, they want to be reunited with you. They have removed the old garment of shame. They have, they have removed the old garment of sin. They have removed the old garment of, of, of guilt. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. Father, they receive the garment of new grace, the garment of grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are new 
new creatures. Your word, Father, says whom the Son sets free. Father, I, we set them free this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we welcome them in the kingdom of heaven. We welcome them in the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, you devil, take your ugly hands of them. They belong to God. We cover them with the blood of Jesus. They are, they are blood washed. They are forgiven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you that the chains of sickness in the mighty name of Jesus, the chains of, po chains of poverty, chains of slavery, they are broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Baba siyabo nguti bakululiwe. Baba wetona manja onke maketa ngwe nubu miyama. Geka melina manja liga chesu wase nazareta. Lord, they are reunited. Spirit of the living God, rest on them right now in Jesus' name. Rest on them, oh God. As you rested upon David, Spirit of the living God, I pray that you rest on them. You speak and minister to them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. So God has dressed, God has clothed you and you. You are dressed in a new garment. You have been set free. You have been set free. Yeah, you've been set free. The Bible says whom the Son sets free is truly free indeed. So you, the, the chains and the powers of, of slavery and the powers of sin, they have been broken from off your life in Jesus' name. Now we continue. Listen to me. If, if you, if, uh, just go read the book of John. The, book, the gospel of John chapter 1, just read that gospel of John chapter 1, read it all. The, the first verse says, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. The word there is Christ. The word that John speaks of is Christ. In the beginning was Christ. The word of God, the, the, Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, Jesus is the life. So the word referred to by John is the way, the truth, the life, and that is Jesus Christ, whom you've just received, uh, who has just dressed you in a new garment of grace. Yeah, the grace of God we receive this morning. So read the book of John, just read that entire book, just Study the word of God. Every time you pray, you must pray having the word of God in your heart. And you must believe what the word of God says. You will begin to hear the spirit of the Lord speaking to you and showing you things that you need to renounce in your life. Covenants that are of old that you used to belong to. Things. Listen to me. God, God has called you into his grace. So you no longer are going to be living your life the way you lived your life before. You are now dressed in a new covenant. So when you pray, you cannot pray without the word of God. If you don't know how to pray, just read the word of God and just go and tell God, Lord, thank you. I, I am your child. Teach me to pray, Holy Spirit. Speak to God. God is your father. God is your friend. He wants to have a one-on-one -on -one with you. Your relationship with God um, uh, has been restored. We want to encourage you, saints, Read the word of God. It is important that we will be praying this entire week. As we have said earlier on, that we are suspending the 5 a.m. prayers and the 7 p.m. prayers. We are just going to be meeting midnight. You are going, now we are going to speak what you want to see tomorrow, this day. You speak what you want to see. You will not be taken by surprise. There is nothing that is going to take you by surprise, but you will speak what you want to see today. You will speak what you want to see today in Jesus' name. This is the new day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So you speak what you want to see. You are not speaking what you're going through, but you speak what you want to see. The book of Mark chapter 11 verses 20, 20, 24, it says, whatsoever you desire when you pray. So what is the desire that you have? We, every time we come to God in prayer, we have a desire, we have an expectation, and the, you will receive according to the desire that you have. What is it that you are believing God for as we start the new day? What is it? You must begin to speak into your day. You must begin to speak. You speak what you want to see. Kuluma lento Kuluma lento. Speak that which you want to see happening this week. Listen to me. What you will see is the manifestation of what you will have spoken. 
A closed mouth, I always say, is a closed destiny. This entire week, we are going to be waking up at 12 midnight and we are going to be praying. We are going to be releasing words. You may be sick in your body, but you should not be speaking that sickness. You are going to speak your desire. What is your desire this morning? As we start this day, this is day two. What is your desire? What is it that you want to see manifesting in your life? You speak and it will manifest. You speak. So right now, I need you to, hey, hey, some of you have interviews lined up this week. Mm, mm. Some of you are believing God for open doors. Some of you are believing, are believing God for supernatural intervention. We are it's supernatural increase. Eh? Some of you are believing God for, for, for financial breakthroughs. Some of you, but you need to understand that you speak what you want to see. Nothing will just take you by surprise. So you speak. Just begin to speak. What is it that you want to see happening this week? This is the day that the Lord has made. You will, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Begin, listen to me. Mark 11, 24. Yeah, I'm just quickly going to read it. Mark chapter 11. I'll start from verse 21. Mark 11 from verse 21. Then they came again to Jerusalem, and, his, as, and as he was walking in the temple, yes, uh, verse 21, verse 21, where's verse 21, boom, 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 boom. Yes, I'm starting from verse 21. Verse 21 says, And Peter, remembering, said to him, this is Peter saying to Jesus, Rabbi, which means teacher, look, the fig tree which you cast has withered away. So Jesus cast a fig tree. He spoke words. He spoke words to the fig tree. Right? Mm -hmm. Verse 22. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Sharon, you are trusting God for a job offer. Have faith in God. Jesus says to Peter, So Jesus cast the fig tree. He said, May, may no one ever eat from you again. He spoke words to the tree. He said, may no one ever eat from you again. The Bible says the tree was withered from the roots. The next day, as they were passing with Jesus, Peter sees the tree and he says, teacher, look, the tree that you cast has withered away. And then Jesus says to Peter in verse 22, so Jesus answered and said to him, have faith in God. To all of those that have received Christ as your Lord and Savior this morning, have faith in God. Every time you come to pray, have faith in God. Read the word of God. And before you pray, you must have faith in God. Jesus says to Peter, have faith in God. And then he says, I say to you, assuredly, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea. You know what mountain is facing you. So whoever, it doesn't matter who you are. Jesus says, whoever. Mark chapter 11, I am now reading verse 23. For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, whoever says, so whoever speaks to this mountain. Hmm? Whoever speaks to this mountain. Whoever, so it doesn't matter who you are, as long as you are a child of God, you are now dressed in a new garment of grace. The grace of God qualifies you where you do not qualify. So whoever will say to this mountain, be removed and 
be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart. Remove doubt in your heart. Every time you come to prayer, you must never have doubt. Doubt will block you from receiving from the Lord. Listen to me. Earlier, to, earlier today, the Lord says to me, you, you cannot compete with someone, um, um, with someone of grace. You cannot compete with someone who has... Uh, oh, listen to me. We are people of grace. You cannot compete. People cannot compete with us because we have the grace of the Lord. You cannot compete with someone who has the grace of God. You cannot compete with someone who has the grace of God. At work, they see you effective. In your career, they see you getting bookings. They, they do not understand that it's your season of being graced by God. And they, they can you cannot compete with someone that has the grace of God. You cannot People will try to mimic. People will try to imitate you. But they, they will not have the grace that you have. So Jesus says, this is something that the Lord just said to me in passing today, yesterday. So God says, you have my grace. You have my favor. You cannot compete with somebody that has the favor of the Lord. They will not, listen to me, you have the grace of God. Two weeks ago, I said the favor of the Lord is permanent. Whew. So that, that, that's just a throwing. I'm just throwing that in. I'm just reminding you that you have the grace of God. They cannot compete with you. They can close doors uh, before you, but they will, you, the grace of God will cause the doors to open. The grace of God. You will enter the room and, and they will just, the grace of God is upon you. They, you. You will be noticed because the grace and the favor of God is upon you. Let's go back to scripture. Now, Jesus says, um, whosoever says to this mountain, so whoever speaks and says, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt. So you remove doubt. Every time we come to prayer, you must not have doubt. The spirit of doubt, you must cancel it in the name of Jesus. Shut it out in the name of Jesus. And you must not have doubt in your heart. But Jesus says you must have faith in God. Have faith in God alone. Have no substitute. Have no other option. Have faith in God alone. Right? But believes that those things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. So whoever will say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the ocean, and does not have doubt in his heart, and believes that God will do for them that which they have asked, you will receive. Right? And then verse 24, the Bible says, Therefore Jesus says, I say unto you, he say, I say unto you, whatever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Whatsoever things you have, whatever you desire when you pray, believe. You wear the garment of favor, the garment of grace. You have received the grace of God. The people who will see you the next morning, they will not be able to identify you because you have a new comment. The comment of grace, the comment of favor. But people will say you are glowing. There's something different about you. You don't even tell them. They will say, hey, you, oh, you are favored. You are the favored of the Lord. So whatever you desire when you pray, every time you come to pray, have faith in God. Have faith, absolute faith in God. Earlier on, my wife said, we must, get, we must renounce old covenants. Now you belong, you have entered into a new covenant with God. This new covenant with God requires you that you must believe, have faith in God. Listen, listen to me. We, we've been lied to. We've been cheated on for so many years. We've been made to believe that you need to plant a seed for God to give something to you. No, no, no. All you need is faith. Your seed is faith. Just have faith in God. That's all you need. Have faith in God. Whatsoever you desire when you pray, you must have a desire. 
and you must open your mouth. You must open your mouth and speak. You know what mountain is before you. Jesus says, whoever will say to this mountain. He made an example with the fig tree. He came to the tree expecting, to the, expecting the tree to have fruit, food, and there was nothing. He cast it and he said, may no one ever eat from you again. And watch this. He didn't pray about it. Mm -mm. He spoke to the situation. So there are times that we pray about things. But right now we are talking about making a declaration. Declaring, speaking into. Mm. There, mm. there are people who are faced with situations here. I'm going to make an example. You are here. You are faced with a situation of you have a business. And your invoices are not being paid on time. <laughs> you have prayed. Or you haven't even prayed. But we are saying there is, there is a way to actually speak to it. And make a declaration that I, my invoices will be paid this In week. Jesus' name. My invoices will be paid today. I will not have delayed invoices. That's right. That's right. I will not have delayed payments. That's right. Every time when I submit my invoice to be paid, it will be paid on time in mm. the name of Jesus. That is you. That is you. Okay. There will be no more delays. So yeah. this, is, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. My status is changing from being unemployed to employed. Yes, Lord, in My Jesus' name. My status is changing from being sick in to Jesus being name. healed in the name in of Jesus. Jesus. Name. I walk in power. When I speak, mm. things become. In I Jesus walk name. in authority. When I speak, things align mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. But mm. also, you, you can't just speak about things. You need to speak two things. You need to speak two things. My children walk in obedience. Amen. My Amen. children walk in obedience. My children walk in the ways of the Lord. Mm. My husband listens to my wise counsel. Mm. Yes, Lord. My husband walks with understanding. So there's, there's not this thing of you walking around and saying, oh, I, I have a, a foolish husband or I have this. Eh, eh. You fix this thing mm. with your mouth. Mm. As much as many things have been made wrong by your mouth, you fix these things Amen. with your mouth. So this week you are in an exercise of declaring things. If you see something that goes wrong, at work or during your day, you speak against it in the name of Jesus. You speak directly to it in the name of Jesus. Mm. So for some of us, we are learning something new because we usually just pray about things. But you are going to speak into things. You are going to speak to your finances in the speak. name of Jesus. I will not, and, and also, you must be honest with yourself and be true, truthful to yourself. I will no longer spend unwisely. I will no longer spend my money unwisely. So that you don't come here and you pray for financial breakthrough and yet the problem here is with you. So you 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 speak, you fix, you fix this. Yeah. You fix this. You whatever it is that stands in front of you. So Jesus spoke to the fig tree. Mm. He says to the fig tree, you no one will ever eat from you again. So you have the ability to speak to your business and say, Father, in the well. And say to the business, I will be receiving great business this week. No one will take me for granted. I will not have many calls that are, are looking for invoices and nobody buys. You know, so these are the things that you are making. I am submitting yes. my tender yes. documents yes. and I, the, my, these documents will be received with favor. My business will be received with favor. Mm. My business will be received with favor. Then, ooh, for some of Come you, on. it's the veil that you need to remove from mm. yourself. Remove mm. the veil from your business. Your business has been hidden for so long. Remove the veil. I remove the veil that has been covering my business mm. from being discovered in the name of Jesus. Mm. I am removing mm. this veil in Jesus' mighty name. I am shifting back the cloud of darkness out of my life in the name of Jesus. That is you. That is you. You speak life to your womb. You speak life to your family. You speak life. You speak it. You speak it. You speak what you want you to see. You speak it. You speak it. Andy Bloom, your, your organization will receive favor from yep. the government. Yep. In yep. the mighty name of Jesus, I will receive the monies that I need. I am, I am receiving destiny help us in Jesus' Come mighty on. name. You I am aligned it. with the word of the Lord. I am aligned with the ways of the Lord. I am aligned in the path mm. of the Lord. Mm. I am aligned with God. When the, word of the, when the word of the Lord is spoken, when the spirit of the Lord speaks to me, I can hear and I will do in the name of Jesus. I will no longer walk in disobedience in the mighty name of Jesus. When the spirit of the Lord speaks, I will do. Here's another thing. Here's another thing. When the spirit of the Lord speaks, oh, you hallelujah. must do. Otherwise, yeah. you will suffer the consequences of not doing that which the mm. spirit of the mm. Lord mm. said you must do. So some of the things that we are going through are the consequences 
of not doing that which you know i'm just talking about daily things the spirit of the lord said to me today that when 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 he says that he is our helper it's not only him being our helper in 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 times of need and in times of need tina we think we in times of need means when we are in trouble mm. no it's not it's not mm. only the, the spirit of the lord is our ever present help in time of trouble it's it's not the trouble that you are thinking of in your everyday life you need him because if you do not do according to god you will be in trouble do you get me Amen. if you don't do if you if you don't walk according to what the lord has planned and set for your life you will be in trouble so he is here to help us daily he is and when i say daily i don't mean only in the morning i mean right through the day so our ear has to be open to him and you are here and you are a person who walks in doubt or you are a person who says my ear is so deaf i cannot hear the spirit of the lord you open your ears by yourself and you say my ears are open to hearing yep. the lord yep. and now this will actually give you who ya naya pasia listen to me your greatest treasure and your greatest blessing comes from you being able to hear from God Amen. and it comes from your eyes your spiritual eyes being open these things that we tend to ask for some of them are an end result of your ability to hear mm. so open the ears of your spirit in the name of Jesus in say Jesus father name. in Jesus mighty name i will no longer have a, a, a deaf ear to you mm. my ear is open to the yes, lord, lord. because Jesus the spirit name. of the lord is always speaking it is just that we are not hearing him and so we keep making mistakes and we keep repeating mistakes because we cannot hear him right so my ears are open to the lord my ears are tuned to the lord mm. Mm. My ears are mm. tuned to the spirit mm. of the Lord. Mm. When he speaks, I will do. When he speaks, I will do. I have the grace to complete every task that is at hand for me in Hallelujah. my life. In the name of Jesus, I have the grace to complete every task that is at hand in my life. I am walking with the Lord. Amen. I am walking. Tina, we want to walk in power. Tina, we, you know, but when we walk with God, if you, if you take God, if you take God and you bring him in, Amen. you walk in all these things that you could Amen. ever think of. Amen. So your prayers are actually limited. You walk with the Lord and I can hear from the Lord and I can see as the Lord shows me for the prophets that are here or for the people that do not understand what is happening in their lives. You have dreams that you do not understand. You, you make a declaration. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or you actually pray into this thing father help me to understand my dreams i receive the gift of interpretation of dreams mm. i receive the gift of interpretation of dreams i receive the gift of understanding yep. i receive insight i receive i receive wisdom in mm. the mighty name of jesus i walk in wisdom i walk in, in godly counsel amen amen i walk in wise counsel so you speak, you speak, you speak. And it is my prayer that as I am busy speaking, that you are also busy speaking. In Jesus' mighty name. You speak, you speak, you speak, you speak. The blessing of the Lord is not only material. Mm. So this, most of the things that we need are these things. The spirit things, the things of the spirit. Yeah. Wisdom, uh, wise counsel, insight. Because some of us lack insight. If you have a business, you ask for strategies, business strategies. Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you guys things. I'm going to tell you things. You know, the, 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 uh, the Spirit of the Lord is able to market you. Mm. <laughs> I know that sounds so wrong because you need to have marketing, you need, you need to have this and you need to have that. So most of us, we run for these things. We run to, for all these things. Instead of seeking God first, who will give us how to do these things? So we labor, we do these things with our own strength and we get tired. Yeah. The Spirit of the Lord is able to market you. If you align yourself with God, He does the marketing for you. Because, when, because He resides in you, He markets Himself. He needs you to be in every place. He needs you to be in every place because he resides in you, because you listen to him. He needs you to be in every place. He needs you. He needs you because your business finances the kingdom, because your business takes care of the widows, because your business takes care of the orphans. Mm. He needs your wisdom, your, your, your business mm. to make money. 
because your organization is doing things according to that he needs your organization to be known so he plays he marks he's able to market you all you need to do is to align yourself with the spirit right. of the lord you just align so that even when you pray, you pray according to the Spirit. You pray according to the Spirit. Amen. You pray according to the Spirit. Amen. Our time is up. Thank you so much. All you need to do, it's not every situation that you have to speak. I mean, you have to pray about. Some situations you have to speak. Speak to them. Speak to them. You don't have to be so spiritual. You just speak what you want to see. You command. You will speak and things will be established. You, will, you must speak. Okay? So, what, all of what you have been seeing happening in your life are stuff that you, you have, are words, you, are words manifesting. Words that you spoke previously and they are becoming. So, you need to be a responsible creator with your words you create. So what you have been seeing happening in your life is because you've been creating irresponsibly. You've been careless with your words. So you must speak what you want to see and it will manifest. You only speak what you want to see. You are not speaking what you already are going through. But if you want your situation to change, you need to speak. Change the way you've been creating. Your words, you create we are creators. We are made in the likeness of God. So you change how you create. And then your atmosphere will change. Your environment will change. Your life will change. Your life will become that which you have been speaking. For the people who have made a new covenant, for the people who have renounced certain things in their lives, for the people who are being bothered by the evil dreams that they are having, you need to declare, I belong to Jesus. Amen. I belong Amen. to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. That is your declaration. I belong to Jesus. Because some of us, in all truth, some of us, our things are held back because of these spirits that live yeah. in us. Yeah. And that is the reason why God wanted us to renounce these covenants that we have made yeah. and close these doors. Don't go back and open those doors. Otherwise, you won't be able to progress. So you are not, you belong to Jesus. This is you. I belong to Jesus. Even, even in your, even in your sleep, even as you walk, as you continue to walk, I belong to Jesus. I belong to, you are snatching yourself away from. Some of you need to actually fast this week. If you are being bothered, I cannot not say this. You are being bothered by these spirit things and you don't know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about, I'm talking to people who are dreaming of snakes <clears throat> and I am talking to people who are dreaming of themselves having sex with things they don't know in the night. I'm talking mm. about people who are bothered by those things. You are busy kissing people in, in, your, in your sleep. You are busy uh, doing the dance in your sleep and whatever. You need to take a fast. Take a fast and just renounce this, the evil connections that have been, and just say, I belong to the Lord. And you will, you will be able to get your deliverance at the end of the day. Because we need to be delivered from these things. They keep you from being employed. They keep you from being financially stable. Mm. They keep you from being married. They I keep know you what stagnant. I'm talking about. You just, you they just keep you moving. stagnant. They keep you bound. If it is not you, it may be your family members. They keep you. They keep you. And if you don't know how they were opened, some of you, they were opened because of fornication. I know what I'm talking about. Police asking for how long should they fast? Betunana, you can fast on a daily basis. Break at 6. Fast daily and break at 6. Fast daily and break at 6. So you, you are not Until going you to, are set free from <clears throat> this thing. You are not going to say you belong to the Lord and then you go back and fornicate. You are playing. Just go to sleep. When we wake up at 12, we're going to just go to sleep. Because it's, it's, it's just not going to work. There's no need for you to be opening doors and closing them and coming back and mm. opening them and then go and close them again. When God says we, when God said we must take off the old covenant, when he said we need to renounce these covenants, it is because he knows these are the things that are keeping us from moving forward. So before, before we can do anything, before we can take over, Fast any, fast any, 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 anything. Guys, before we can take over any territory, we need to first find a strong man. Amen. And so some of us, we need to actually first divorce ourselves from the strong man. 
Ask the Spirit of the Lord how you must fast. He will tell you. Ask the Spirit of the Lord how you must fast. Because our situations are not the same. Amen. Some of you, God will say to you, you are only going to eat again on Friday night. You know? So ask the Lord how it should be done. You will feel it now within you. It's, you think you are starving your body, right? You think you are starving yourself. Some of you, you are actually starving this spirit. Mm. Don't go and be watching these movies that you are watching. Don't go and watch them. Don't go and watch them. Saints, thank you so much for coming through. Next week, we are fasting. This week, we are doing 12 midnight prayers. Next week, we are fasting. You know, when we fast, we pray every three hours. So next week, we will be back at the 5 a.m., 9, 12, 3, 6. So the whole of next week, we will be, it will be prayer and fasting. You know what we do. Every first week of the month, we fast. So next week, we are fasting. Remember that on the 4th of March, we are meeting in Kempton Park. We are raising an altar of prayer for marriages. We are meeting with all married people in Kempton Park Civic Center. If you are married, bring your partner. If you still have not RSVP, please do. Um, we on, this is for the 4th of March. So next week from Monday until Friday, it's our week of prayer and fasting. Next week. Okay, so this week we are doing, um, we are praying only at 12 midnight. So 5 a.m. we are not praying. 7 in the evening we are not praying, but we are meeting at 12. All right, so make sure that you do not miss it. We are praying, we, uh, but, but now faith, the word of God, read, study the word of God. Have faith in God. So that when we come to prayer, as you pray, you will feel that there's things shifting and things taking place. And, and taking, um, you are being moved into a new space. Oh, Evelyn Praise is God. asking, if my partner is not saved, can I come alone? Yes, Evelyn, yes, if you, you are can. married, you can come alone. If you are alone. married, yes. if your partner, you, you your need husband. to... Your husband. Yeah, not if your, if your husband is just, willing, if they are not willing, it's okay, you just come. come alone. Yes. You just come because you are the point of contact. So you do not have to worry. Don't force them. Just tell them, we've been invited to a prayer for married people. We are raising an altar of prayer for marriages. And therefore, we would, um, can we go and pray? You understand? Because um, God, God is just going to be doing something amazing on the 4th. We are just looking forward to it. There's no, there's, you, there's no registration fee. Ha. You just come. Just if you have not RSVP'd, please do RSVP. Um, the poster is on our TikTok and also I will be sharing on the poster. We'll be sharing the poster again on Facebook. So there's a number there that you can um, send a WhatsApp to, to RSVP. And also there's an email address that you can and RSVP to. This is for married, um, married people. Okay. Thank you so much, Boss for Life. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Guys, thank you so much for coming through. We are done um, with this prayer. We will see you guys today at 12 midnight. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. May you see the favor of the Lord upon your life in everything that you do. May whatever you touch with your hands prospers in the name of Jesus. May your business prosper. May your business um, have, have clients nonstop in the name of Jesus. May you just experience the new wave of God, the influx of, just, of business just coming through in your life, in your business. May this year be a year where you see God manifesting his power in your life, in your marriage, in your business, in your, in your finances, in your career. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for coming through and thank you so much for sharing these likes. I mean, this, this, um, sharing, sharing this live and we see we are on 123,000. Thank you so much guys for, for tapping we appreciate. Thank you so much. Una teams again. I see you, sir. Thank you so much for coming through. The Lord bless you. Guys, thank you so much. We will meet again tonight at 12 midnight. We are praying and doors are going to open. People will testify. You will see the hand of God upon your life. Do not fight. If they attack you, do not fight. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord. Keep quiet. 
and see the, salvation, the salvation of the Lord. When I heard you say, you just belong to God. Assess the situations and allow the Spirit of the Lord to tell you, what do, do I respond? The Spirit of the Lord will tell you, no, keep quiet. You keep quiet. If the Spirit of the Lord says, command, speak to the situation, you speak. If the, the Spirit of the Lord say, pray, pray. Okay, God bless you. See you tonight at 12. Midnight. Not 12 midday, midnight. God bless you. Good morning. Bye-bye. We will share this live on YouTube. We have our YouTube channel. Forgot, almost forgot to say. We have our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Raising an Altar of Prayer. Subscribe there. You will get a lot of sessions that we have had that you may have missed. Please do subscribe. We appreciate all of those who have subscribed. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much. We will see you at midnight tonight. You were too. We are coming to Nell's Prayer this Saturday. Oh, if yeah. You, if you are in the hood, <sighs> it would be nice to actually just meet in the corner somewhere and just pray. <laughs> and then we we'll actually go and enjoy the concert. United Tour. Mbambo, Ayanda, Danzi, Mangaliso. They are in Nell's Prayer. Uh, communion changes church that's where we will be this coming saturday so if you are around Mpumalanga, Nelspreit, Mbombela, we are there we look forward to see you guys there please when you are there uh, because we'll be leaving on saturday morning so you just let us know that Ibo, I'm around. Where are you guys? And then we, we can just have a quick gathering. It would be very nice. You know, just to see you guys you. and just quickly pray together. You know, we just pray okay. together. And then we look forward to seeing you. God bless you guys. Shalom. See you at midnight. Bye-bye.